This is Bowser. And this is Harry, who also kind of looks like Bowser. So today, we're using over 10,000 LEGO to build the entire Super Mario Kingdom for Bowser, I mean Harry. And we're even gonna build Peach's Castle, Donkey Kong's Treehouse, and so much more. Soon, Harry will swim through the entire Mario Kingdom. Will he be able to win Princess Peach's heart and snag his very own superstar? But before I show you Harry's insane LEGO castle, we're starting at level zero with this mini one. Each day, I give Harry a food bath. But honestly, this tank is kind of boring. So we're building him his very own Mario Kingdom so he can feast in Lego luxury. Starting with Mushroom Kingdom. At the center, we have the iconic Peach's Castle. Is it just me or does Peach look like Lucy? We have a small problem. In the movie, it's on a hill and this is just way too flat. Now we're talking. We can't forget to add the infamous training course where Mario's skills are put to the test. This is looking awesome, but it wouldn't be Mushroom Kingdom without our toad friends and magical creatures. Watch out for the sneaky Koopa in the cake. And guess who's lurking behind the wall? It's Bowser. I hope he doesn't scare Harry. And since Harry is obsessed with Lucy, I'm fixing this window. Much better. You know how in the world of Mario, every place looks like a magical playground? Well, we're gonna do just that with custom stands. Each one will look like they jumped right out of the movie. This is perfect for Harry's grand entrance into Super Mario World. Soon, we'll have a warp pipe to connect to each kingdom. But for now, it's blocked off, so we're gonna test it out. Since Harry is an omnivore, we're gonna give him a tiny mushroom as a snack. Oh no! He's shrinking just like in the movie! He must be the size of a pea. That was just level one. Every level is going to get crazier and crazier. But first, can you spot these characters hidden somewhere in this video? And I'm giving away this Lego set, so stick around. For the next five seconds, take a guess at what we're building next. Well, you are most likely wrong, unless you guess Rainbow Road. This is my favorite part of the movie, so we have to build it for Harry. This was looking pretty good until I got carried away right here. We gotta fix this. Thankfully, Baby Bowser can help. But this track is kinda lame. You can't even put cars on it. So I spent over $200 on this giant eight-foot Mario Kart racetrack. It has everything. Who do you think will win? And we're off. Yoshi is in the lead. But wait, Shy Guy wins. But I couldn't stop there. This game is just way too fun. Check this out. Peach didn't even finish. She got banana peeled. We're back on track creating Harry's ultimate rainbow refuel. But it's not all fun and snacks. This rainbow road will actually put his balance to the test. But before we unleash our little Bowser, let's race my snails. We have Mario, Luigi, and Peach. Three, two, one, go! Little Harry is gonna have to make it all the way through five of these. This may not look like much now, but wait till we're done. And we'll need heaps of tiny tropical plants, so I ordered over $100 worth. Voila, we now have a huge jungle for our banana kingdom. Great. The Donkey Kong set I want isn't even available until August 1st. At first, I thought I could DIY it. But honestly, it's kind of lame. So I ordered this treehouse for over $200. If I'm gonna go broke over Lego, you can like this video. And while we wait for it to arrive, let's play some real life Mario Kart. I have this amazing idea to put balloons on the back of my car, but the attendant told me that's just not gonna be possible. We may have gotten a little bit carried away. Thankfully, I have a special effects guy who can help. Now we're talking. This is pure Mario Kart bliss. But then, out of nowhere, a sneaky banana peel appeared. We're swinging back into action with this giant Lego treehouse. This kingdom will be a perfect banana paradise for our dynamic duo, Donkey Kong and Cranky Kong. Let's level up with these beautiful blue bricks. Now we have a cascading river that'll make Harry feel like he's in a tropical paradise. Donkey Kong has a powerful punch, just like Ralph, my Pika Nancy. I wonder who would win in one v one And since there are endless DK barrels scattered around the kingdom, we need a barrel factory. I can't wait to see Harry swim right through here. This frozen tundra is going to be perfect for our next stop. Mario even has his cute little snowsuit to keep him warm. But I went one step further and kitted your boy out in the freshest penguin suit on the market. Welcome to Snow Kingdom where every day is snow day and fun is always in the forecast. Wait a minute, 
This doesn't even look like ice. In the movie, the ice castle is clear and glistening. But then I had an idea. What if we use these clear Lego bricks for the castle? Then it'll look just like the movie. Here goes nothing. Whoa, that's better. These bricks are as rare as a Yoshi egg, but I managed to get my hands on a huge stash of them. This castle looks like a frosty fortress fit for a king. King Penguin, to be exact. And we can't forget to add Yoshi with his snowball to protect the castle. I'm even gonna put a GoPro in the tank. When Harry passes through, it's gonna look so cool. This real dry ice is epic. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Do you remember this epic Lego Bowser set I picked up in the last episode? Maybe this is what Bowser looked like when he was an awkward teenager. And these kind of look like pimples. He is going to play a huge role in our next kingdom. Look at him. Drum roll, please. Welcome to our final stop, Bowser's Kingdom. This place will be the ultimate challenge for our brave little Harry. And these walls will make sure no one gets in or out. OK, this is lacking some serious detail. Bowser's castle is surrounded by lava falls. So I'm using orange bricks to create a real pool of molten rock. But beware of the potables. We can't forget some weapons and swinging axes. Perfect for adding a touch of lethality to our castle. And our castle wouldn't be complete without a drawbridge. So I spent hours crafting a pulley system with Lego. Let's just hope it doesn't snap shut on Harry. I even got Harry this tiny piano to play for Peaches. Now, all that's left to do is connect our kingdoms with warp pipes. And while we wait for it to dry, let's feed our fish. After all, Harry can't be the only one getting a taste of Mario World. Whoa, did you see that? My fish just swam right into Bowser's mouth. I cannot believe how good this looks. See you tomorrow. It's time to fill up our Lego Mario Kingdom. But wait, Mamma Mia! The table isn't level. Water isn't flowing all the way through the tunnel to Peach's castle. I had to do some serious plumbing work like Mario in the movie, but we're back on track. Now we're talking, and we can't forget to add our finishing touches and minifigs to cheer him along the route. Let's go Harry. Do you think he saw Lucy's mural in Peach's castle? The road is glowing. Start your engine, and we're off. Harry is our little Rainbow Road champion. He's swinging into Banana Kingdom. Watch out for the barrels. Harry's slipping and sliding like a seal. Look at that form. Bowser is looming overhead. Harry's not quite ready yet, but he's invincible. You've got this, little buddy. Game over. Our little champ has defeated Super Mario World. Make sure to comment for your chance to win this. See you soon.